Hi, I'm Tom. This is Lucy. And this is Kitty Help Desk. So today I wanted to address a problem that is sometimes brought up to me, which is excessive vocalization in cats. Some cats just really meow a lot. And it can be disturbing for some caregivers, especially if they do it in the middle of the night. And I totally sympathize with that. Uh, the problem is you, you kind of have to approach this from a point of empathy because in a lot of cases, these cats who do this, they, they're having some kind of problem that they don't know how to cope with and their meowing is more or less a cry for help. Uh, case in point, I, I recently worked with a, a family who had a cat who was 15 years old and she had started wandering through the house in the middle of the night, you know, four or five o'clock in the morning and just meowing nonstop, just meow, 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 woke everybody up. And fortunately, this family, they weren't, you know, shut up, go back to sleep or locking the cat in a room so they could get some sleep. They really wanted to help their cat. And, and so I worked with them and they went to their veterinarian and they discovered that the cat had significant hearing loss. So the meowing was a response to this hearing loss and there could also have been some dementia. The cat was getting older. The cat wasn't in great condition. It had been a former feral cat who had been pretty beat up in his life. And so he was, he was having just some, some issues. So, they basically worked out a plan where they trained the cat to spend the evenings in a particular room and slowly worked it up to where the cat was isolated at night so they didn't have to hear it, but in a, in a kind way, not just sort of locking him in the room, but making it uh, appealing to him to go in there because he got treats when he went in there and he got other things. Um, it's important to understand in these cases that Cats don't generally meow to one another in the wild. That's a, something that they learn to do around us because we respond to it, you know? When, when they're in the wild, they generally try to be as quiet as they can be because they don't want to attract predators. Um, but when they're in our homes and they meow and we react, you know, we, we give them attention immediately when they meow or we respond in some way or we praise them or pet them. We are now reinforcing that behavior and encouraging it to happen more and more frequently. So they learn over time that the way to get our attention is to meow and they will do it more and more if you encourage it. Now, if you want your cat, if your cat's in good health, doesn't have any um, health issues, then you can discourage them from meowing by just not reacting to it. And that's sometimes easier said than done because we are very visually and sonically focused on things. So when we hear that meowing, meow, 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 you know, we're gonna turn and look. Almost invariably, we will turn and look. Even if we try not to respond at all, our first instinct is sort of be like, what is that? What is that? Where is that coming? What's going on with her? What's, what's that all about? You know? So it takes a, a pretty good willpower to not respond at all, to just sort of, I'm not going to, it's going on over there. You know, even when they try to get in your face, because what's going to happen with any behavior as the behavior sort of uh, is discouraged, we have what's called an extinction burst. So before the behavior goes extinct, there's a burst of more of that behavior than there ever has been before. And the idea is that the animal sort of feels like, well, this worked before. Why is it not working now? I'm going to press that button harder. I'm going to do more. So they start meowing more and more and more. And so if they start getting more meows out, then you know you're actually on the right track. And then eventually it will just be curtailed. But you have to have, honestly, uh, iron will to kind of get that far. Um, I've had many clients who come to me because our cats are bothering them, waking them up in their bed at night, meowing or by climbing on them, things like that. 
maybe even biting them, trying to get them awake. And all of these things happen because you have inadvertently or on purpose have reinforced these behaviors. So the only way to get rid of these behaviors is to stop reinforcing them. And, you know, if your cat does have a health issue, I encourage you to work with a veterinarian to see if there's some sort of treatment that you can arrive at that's kind, that doesn't, you know, treat your cat like a pariah, but try, try to understand what your cat's going through and try to help them to, to cope because they're no happier about it than you are. Thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.